right guys another video that we're going to be doing for today is shadow of the earth tree dlc for elden ring right like it's coming it's coming out this week so i think a lot of people are going to be excited for um this video in particular um or this game in particular i'm sorry um and there's this there's so much to discuss i think there's going to be us kind of talking about like what we feel like is going to be like the most exciting kind of things to get into with this dlc coming out it's 40 dollars, right standard standard pricing is 40 dollars. um i think the other editions is the collector's edition and uh i think it's the deluxe edition i think there might be a deluxe over there yeah it's a deluxe it comes with like a a costume or something like that well like a build you can pretty much get like a build earlier but you can still get access to it if you get the regular version if you you know earn your way to it oh That's yeah all it is. yeah so you, it's like a cheat code <laughs> yeah you basically get getting some weapons and materials early on versus finding it you know yeah That's all it is. so come on don let's really think about um what are the, like the interesting things i guess to take away from you got these all these exciting kind of areas that you know um that they've been kind of showing in this new these new maps that we're seeing um yeah you you know def different different um you got you got your different uh combat systems in there you got what different weapons different different costumes um definitely a lot to absorb right yeah exactly yeah it seems like it's it's gonna be like a new map area you know as far as we know you, you're gonna access it through the Hmong battle area you know a lot of people are theorizing online with the egg and especially with, from software reconfirming that you had to defeat Hmong if you haven't already you know to access the DLC it may take you to a new map area once you go up to that egg in that area you know it seems like it's it's, it's really as the whole story of Eldering is themed around the idea of rebirth. A little Calver. I'll soon birth thee anew. A sweeting, fresh and pure. If we're going into the world in between, so that's, you know, that's like the big theme between uh, what Mikula and her having, or her children. You know, in that other world of, you know, everybody's suffering from death and not being able to die. You know, that whole idea, I guess, being stuck in between that room. So I'm guessing we're going somewhere within there, you know, that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, that I, I think there's a lot of speculations going around like this DLC, too. It's like, you know, the lore being related to Milena, right? Yep. If I'm saying if I'm saying that right, because there's Melina and then there's Melena. <laughs> right. So yeah. um there's there's definitely a lot of speculations with this DLC, whether it's you know her brother or son, like you know, there's so uh, there's a lot of def different um controversies around this kind of DLC. I'm curious on like who it is either. I think it's her brother. I'm I'm just spe I'm just kind of ruling that out. Maybe it was him before he touched the damn Elden Ring. I don't I don't know. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, kind of, this is like, I, most people would say, well, then how are you going forward to go backwards? Because, you know, he died already in the, in the game. So how the hell are we, we're going back in time? Look, anything, look, listen, with From Software Games, we've always seen some fucking weird dimension kind of going through shit. You know what I mean? Like, there's mm -hmm. always some crazy shit in there. So I wouldn't rule it out. But if that is her son, that's cool, man. I mean, otherwise, I don't know. Yeah, it's a cool I mean thing. I, I think the reason why people are saying it's his son too is because like like the other ones like her other children that you fight throughout the game i think that's like one of the the characters you see maybe at the end of those you know it's like a a set of chairs that you see in that one uh area where you fight godfrey you know that big battle area once you oh you're talking about them. the thrones you're talking about the yeah thrones. all the thrones you see like in front, in front of the one tree. of the yeah one of the ones that'll sit at those chairs. I guess that's why people are speculating that's probably one of her sons, you know, that ruled over at one point in time coming back. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. I think he's definitely gonna he's definitely gonna kick our asses in this one. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's kind of some I think what they were showing in the trailer was just it's it was obviously telling a tell from the past, but I think it was similar in the sense of um 
what they did with Radon, how they were showing his past before you fought him in the present. So I think that's what that was. It was just giving you like a a run through of his past or what he did, and now you're gonna fight him in current time, you know. Thank you.